Hi, I'm Cole Reynolds, founder of the Kids Cancer Project. Before I founded the Kids Cancer Project, I was a tour bus driver and used to take the kids with cancer on fun day trips. I'm back on the road again in a big yellow bus. I'm having the time of my life trying to bring awareness to the general public of Australia of the importance of science to the lives of children with cancer. At the start of this month, we commenced a 10,000 kilometre journey from Queensland through New South Wales, and now we are in Victoria. To support the Kids Cancer Project, we run quite often fundraisers within our studio. We have a really generous community of members here at F45 Helen Vale. Uh, a lot of people really don't know enough about cancer research and about how it affects families until unfortunately they're in front of a doctor and they're told your child has cancer. And then it's at that point in time that we think, what can we do to help other people? If everyone just takes time to help other people, then the world would be a better place, period. Jack, I'm glad the bear's gone to a good home. My name is Risa Utama and I'm the captain of Wordsmith's Creative Writing Club at Somerset College and today we're doing Write a Book in a Day. So we all sat down, designated a team of writers and a team of illustrators and just started creating a story for the children's hospitals around Australia. They're doing this not just for a self-indulgent reason, for something greater than themselves. Not only are we giving these children stories, but each team paid $310 to go towards medical research to help find a cure or develop further treatments for cancer. They're going to get a lot out of it, but they're actually giving a lot to They're giving their time and they're giving their money. And, you know, hopefully this is going to help in, in the fight against kids' cancer. I think it's, it's hard to think of maybe anybody who hasn't been affected by some form of cancer. It's not in isolation, it's not, it doesn't pick and choose who it affects. Um, so I think it's everybody's responsibility. Our little boy, um, Isaac, uh, got neuroblastoma at um, 10 months old. You know, five, 10 years ago, he would have had to have had chemo. Um, there was no other option. All those people five, ten years ago that did movie nights and fun runs and all this sort of stuff, the, the result of their fundraising is that we got Isaac. The money that you donate tonight will go to families who you won't meet, um, kids you'll probably never know. But why we like to tell our story is because this little thing walking around here with his hand in the popcorn is the result. I run the City to Surf. I think I ran my fifth City to Surf just on Sunday. I think I've done the fundraising for the, for the Kids Cancer Project for four years. One year while I was looking through the City to Surf website, I realised that you could support a fundraising charity uh, and saw the Kids Cancer Project on there and thought, that's the one for me. Um, and I guess the rest is history. The Kids Cancer Project has been supporting about 50% of the tumour bank funding needs. The tumour bank is a facility that works within the Children's Hospital at Westmead to collect tissue that has been taken from biopsies that are used to help diagnose a patient with cancer. We can then make those samples available to researchers from around the world. If research doesn't happen, we don't learn. If we don't learn, we don't improve. I have a friend that has leukaemia. They try chemotherapy, but I'm pretty sure it wasn't a cure. Kids with cancer miss out on ordinary things like going to school and playing outside. It's not fair for a kid to have to go through it because they haven't had a chance to live their life yet. Pirate Day is a day where people dress up as pirates to raise money for kids with cancer. Our school did a fantastic job and raised a total of $383. Travelling through various country towns, meeting the general public, the enthusiasm that is shown for our quest has been overwhelming. 
and I really do believe more than ever in what we are doing.